Hi, it's been a while so I thought I'd say hello and thank you to all my new followers and thank you for coming on this journey with me and for your support and your feedback, it's been great. Um, I'm George um, from Beautiful by George and I design and sell my own sustainable mural wall coverings. They're originally hand painted by myself um, and my biophilic design spring tonic is printed on 100% PET free eco non-woven paper and the murals come in eight beautiful colourways. Um, they're available to buy from www.beautifulbygeorge. Now last week, oh, the reason I'm sort of loitering on the side of the camera as well is because I'm going to attempt to talk you through this colourway um, for Happy Days. So last week I introduced, I announced um, an extremely exciting collaboration with Edward Bulmer Natural Paints. And not only is this brand synonymous with sustainability, not to be said off to too many gins, but the colours of the paints are utterly gorgeous and completely natural. So what is on the tin is in the tin, literally. No hidden nasties, kind to you and your home environment, and the perfect partnering for my sustainable mural wall covering. Each colour is created using gentle plant-based chemistry, which is carbon neutral and kind to our planet. So now I'm going to attempt to talk you through happy days um, that you can see here. And this is a, uh, the, this larger piece is a factory sample. And as you can see at the bottom, these are all the colour references they use at the factory. And the reason there are different blues on here um, is because looking at this customer sample, which you can buy off my website, um, you can see there's three different panels that the mural comes in. And so in order to make sure the edges are blended perfectly, we dapple the background. Um, and that's why you've got these different sort of shades of blue, but obviously it gives you a lot more room when you're trying to, you know, colour match. Ah, right. Um, so I had a really long chat with Claire Powell at Edward Bulmer Natural Paints, who is a colour match. Uh, she's a colour matcher, really, and she's a specialist in this area. And um, she came up with some really creative and very sophisticated and clever matches uh, with my colourways. And now it's going to take, a, there's four, well, five colours that she's come up with for Happy Days. And I've got eight colourways, so I'm not going to attempt to do it in one video. So I'll be doing all the others if you're interested. You don't have to sit through all of this. Um, okay, so I had a long chat with Claire and um, she, there was a lot, there's a lot of science to it. And she was giving me her rationale behind each colour that she'd suggested and she wanted to introduce colours that didn't fight with any of the murals because obviously they're quite big dramatic designs and, and you don't want like a whole room that's too much. You want to enhance it properly, um, showcase the mural, how it should be showcased and contrast where it's appropriate. Um, and I did, I do feel after seeing some of these, these colours that maybe a room with a few in one would be quite nice but I'll show you that in a minute um okay so I'm just what what we did talk about was a color wheel and it is something I have used but I don't think a lot of people do use color wheels and they're a fantastic tool and it's when you you know if you look at like a room design on Instagram or you you, you walk into a um a fabulously designed room and you think well how does that work because those colors are completely different I, it works but I don't know why it works this is where color psychology and color science comes in and this is what I mean when I'm talking about a color wheel and color wheels are made up of different color combinations um, and how they work so from an interior's point of view they're talking about complementary contrasting relating colours or what's termed as split complementary and that all sounds a bit techy I know but from a physical point of view when you're looking at one of these wheels they, they're basically made up of 12 main colours I'm not going to do that in front of my face I'll put it down here 12 main colours and mainly yellow green blue violet red and orange but then what you have 
in the middle of all the main colours is like blue green, yellow orange, red orange, that kind of thing. And it's a great way to work out if you want a dramatic contrast or a harmonious flow in your interior design. Um, and it's a really good way to build a colour scheme. All match to a very nice mural wall covering. So I'm going to show you these four very sophisticated and really nice combinations that Claire designed. And rather than being all matchy matchy with the colours, because I suppose the temptation at first is, um, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get a, a bit of a yellow here or I'll do a, the matching pink. Um, what she's done is she's chosen colours that are really subtly complement or, or contrast. Um, so I'm going to talk you through the one, uh, the section of four now that Claire came up with for Happy Days. So bear with. Um, for some reason I've lost the first one I wanted to talk about. Ah, it's underneath. Twilight. Preparation is key. Clearly. Okay, so my first colour is white lead. Now, according to Edward Bullman Natural Paints, this is, oh, colour wheels making a dash for it. Um, the history behind coming up with this colour um, was they wanted to produce a creamy white that was reminiscent of how oil paints used to be made from lead. And um, you, you ended up with, um, as you know, when you were painting a picture, you ended up with a slightly yellow hue because of the lead. Um, and I think this colour is absolutely beautiful. And it picks up on all the gentle uh, cream blushes that run throughout Spring Tonic. Um, on, on every colourway actually. but um, And it picks up on the cream in the dog roses as well. It's a really beautiful partnership. And where are we on here? And it would be considered a, because you can see hints of yellow and red in that, um, it would be considered a complementary colour here. So it's completely opposite to the aqua on here and it's, and it's, it's down here and actually the red and orange, but with obviously lots of white added to it. Um, but that is a really lovely partnering. And then next I have clove, which I think is really delicious. I'm going to run out of descriptive words, aren't I? Um, clove is really warm and really interesting. Are you going to go up there? This is really nice. It's, a, it's a, a warmer option and it's what would be considered a uh, a direct complementary colour as well, because again, it's opposite on the colour wheel here. And it's more sort of around this buff, uh, buff coloured area. And it's a really rich, warm colour. Uh, and I think actually, if you had a room with both of these, I don't know if you can see that, maybe put it up here. If you had a room with both of those colours, I think that would be really sophisticated, really nice. That's a lovely, lovely match, those two. Um, okay, bear with me, I'm sorting out loads of colours. Right, okay. So, and also, yes, I thought about with, with the clove as well, it's really interesting how it picks up the warmth in the Yorkshire, Yorkshire fog grass and the, um, the gold highlights. Um, so the next colour is really delicious. This is verdigris and I've just got to get this in here. Obviously there's hints of green here. Um, and this obviously picks out lots of the green that you know that dominates the, the, the mural wall covering. Um, and verdigris as a 
material or, or a colour is the outcome of weathered surfaces when um, copper and bronze become oxidised. You know, when you see those sort of um, bronze pots in gardens and they've got this like real, this really sort of like antique green uh, weathered look about them. And I really like this because that says to me outside and obviously spring, to spring tonic mural wall covering is all about bringing the outside in. Um, but this sort of like it takes that message even further and it feels really fresh, like a windy burst of spring. So I really like this. So that's verdigris. And then I've got a bit of a cutie here, which I really like. So this is Jessie. I'm going to have to come up with an alternative system. Right, so this is Jessie, which is absolutely beautiful. And it, but it's not a direct matchy match to it's a, a split complementary colour here. So here's your aqua and then it goes off this side, which is split complementary on the colour wheel. This sort of pale pink down here. So with the, the hints of the red, obviously, work beautifully with the Yorkshire fog grass and the... Um, dog roses um and yeah it's a really really refreshing pretty match it's very pretty but it's not a not a, uh, a sweet candy pink it's it's like um a buff pink and it has hints of yellow in it which is really nice to pull together over here with the dog roses and the yellow and the cow parsley so that is delightful and also if you were thinking of different combinations in a room that's really nice because pink and green is one of my favourite combos and that's with verdigris. But talking of green, there is one green that goes with every single mural wall covering and this is invisible green, which is a really good green. And obviously how nicely does that go with um, Jessie? I hope I did say that was Jessie. Um, and this invisible green goes with, as I say, every single colourway. And this was created uh, with a nod to the reference to the 19th century when people used to paint all their railings green so that um, they sort of disappeared a bit and they weren't so noticeable. Um, but I think the colours that Claire has come up with are really lovely. And I've really enjoyed this process because obviously normally I, I design a wall covering and that's it, walk away and it's everyone's preference. But understanding the science behind the colour matches um, has been a really wonderful journey and very interesting. And those are the four five because obviously Invisible Green goes with every single one. But these are the ones that she's come up with. And how lovely is that? I'm just going to 